one of the most useful VS Code extension is the ES7 and newer React Redux and React Native snippets. Now, the React Redux and React Native uh, part of the name is rather misleading because this extension will help you with other frameworks, JavaScript frameworks and libraries as well as just vanilla JavaScript in terms of scaffolding code for you. Now, if you were to scroll down to the bottom of this documentation page, there is a hyperlink to the documentation for the shortcuts for the snippets. It's a link to this GitHub page here. I will include this link in the description. If you are using this extension or uh, plugin for React, there is a little gotcha, if you will. So if you, I, I were to issue the command RFC E, you see how it is automatically importing the React at the, on line one? Uh, starting with at least React 17, this is no longer necessary. And as benign as it may seem, if you if you include some sort of linting mechanism in your CI CD pipeline, your continuous integration, continuous uh, development pipeline in the cloud, uh, say Bitbucket bill or Jenkins bill or some, something like that, uh, the linting the linter might see this as an unused import, and it'll break your bill. So that's bad, right? I'm going to show you how to avoid this. So in the UVS code, go to the settings and of course switch over to the JSON format. And if you notice here on line two, I have this React snippet settings. You can see the IntelliSense and the, the code hinting there as to what it does. By default, this is set to true. Uh, I changed this to false. At the time of this recording, the creator of the snippet uh, has not changed that yet, has not removed that yet, probably because uh, we want to, it probably want to be backwards compatible. So when you add that command, you can have to restart VS Code. Okay, so we start it to, uh, to take effect. I'm going to go ahead and delete this. And let's give this another whirl, RCFE. Okay, so you can see that it's, it removed the import at the top. Okay, and hopefully that'll solve some of your uh, build breakages. Okay, again, once again, uh, normally I put this in alphabetical order, but just for simplicity of this video, I, I have this, uh, this command at the top. So again, once again, that's the command there. If you find this video helpful, please consider giving us a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber yet, please consider subscribing. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.